Okay, we're looking at Slitez 3.0 and we're looking at the GUI interface and we're going to be looking at viewing music and movies. Um, so first thing we need to do is uh, to view the movies I like M Player. So go up to System Tools and up to Package Manager and uh, it will normally ask for your root password. I'm currently logged in as root and the reason for that is I set this up pretty quick to show you guys this and I kinda screwed up the regular user account so ignore the fact that I'm logged in as root by uh, default right now um, so once you open up your pack manager uh, package manager you're gonna wanna recharge uh, it and then do a search for mplayer I've already got mplayer installed so there's really no need for me to go through that steps with you so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to multimedia my package manager finally opened up. There we close that. We're going to go up to multimedia after you have M Player installed and just go down to M Player. And it opens up a GUI interface for M Player here. And all you have to do is right click anywhere inside this window and you can go open and you can open a file, play a VCD or a DVD. And uh, I'm going to choose open a file in this case. And I'm going to go to where I have a MP4 downloaded to right here and you see it gave me an error and I believe this is just because of my video settings because I'm running inside a virtual box right now um, but it also you may also get that just depending on your video card and stuff so if you do get that message and it starts playing just the audio like this go ahead hit stop and hit this little uh, wrench here that's for settings click on OK on that and go to video and choose X11 and that should work if not try some of the other options but X11 seems to work for me and I'll go back and I'll go file open and I'll open up that video file again And as you can see it now plays uh, I can also right click and I can go double size and I but you see it doesn't really stretch the video out and I believe that's because of the X11 settings I just set and once again I believe that's just because I'm running in a virtual box but you may have similar issues depending on your video card but as you can see you can watch videos with mplayer that way we'll close that out and I'm going to go up to um, my system settings here or sorry system tools here and open up my file manager normally you just click on home on your desktop and ignore the fact that I'm running a super user um, and as you can see we got some mp3s here and if you want to listen to music you can just choose these mp3s and open them up and you can play them with this Elsa player. You can also play them in M player, which I like, but and you can also play CDs with M player. But this uh, Elsa player is already installed by default. And you can also click here on the play CD and it will play your CDs for you. Uh, I'm running in a virtual box and uh, although it's seeing the CD-ROM drive, it's not working properly right now. Uh, and I think it's just because I'm once again inside a virtual box here. But, uh, but this player is installed by default and should be able to play your mp3s and your um, uh, CD files and if not install mplayer and mplayer will be able to play them and it will once again be under media both of them will be under media uh, multimedia under your main menu here you got your Elsa player right here for audio player you have a CD ripper and we have mplayer multimedia player down here once again and uh, right click anyone here and should be able to open a file and um, choose any media file you want. mPlayer is very good about playing lots of different formats so for video and audio um, and you can choose different settings down here if you're trying to look for a particular video or music file So there you go. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day, and keep on watching.